Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another conquest video guide. You will be able to find this and all my other conquest guides on my Swag of Life website. So if you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out. There will be a link in the description below. So after the Sector 1 mini boss and final boss uh, issues that we had that, you know, it was quite challenging. Let's see if Sector 2 is more return to norm, what we have come to expect or also these guys will be a lot tougher to take down so as always i'll start with mini boss first so we got bosk bounty hunters to take down and defeats hokey religions again and then we have to win with tarful surviving now in terms of the modifiers they have one step ahead so even though they're bounty hunters they're getting the scoundrel modifier and this one is a little bit annoying because yeah it does a lot of things but most annoyingly that they'll be applying defense down uh, on you whenever you deal damage to them and right you've got amplify agony volatile accelerator potentially equipped you're doing damage a lot of times so it means they're applying defense uh, down a lot on you and what happens when they land debuffs on you because of boss lead? they keep healing up so i'm like going in i'm taking i'm shooting shooting killing them and i'm like what why is nobody going down why is everybody healing up and then i had a look oh that's why everybody's healing up so you know bringing a form of healing immunity i think will help to stop these gains and of course they're over prepared because you know why wouldn't they be right uh so the team i'll be going in with is this one so this one will get all the feats done we don't have any unaligned force user sieve or Jedi in here and obviously Tarful will be surviving uh, we're doing best Carmando lead so whenever we deal damage we're gaining bonus turn meter and because of Amplifying Ag Agony we'll be dealing damage a lot Chewbacca, Han Solo, Dash they're there obviously for the damage and then there's AoE applies day so they because remember because of one step ahead they also have 50% counter chance and then Tarful is there just for the feet and healing immunity will come from whistling birds with best Carmando okay so again showing you on screen the data disc i have equipped at this point uh, i was able to pick up a gray volatile accelerator but i take gray over nothing uh, i'm sure i just get a stun on bosk there we go make sure he doesn't get a turn get a daze and watch they all healed up right away because of the defense down so at this point uh just trying to get stuns across the board and let's go into whistling birds uh, and we'll go after rambo Let's see if we can get a stun. Okay, we'll just add it to the basic. Okay, that's okay, I guess. So the only one that's annoying there is Dengar. He's in stealth. You can't like remove Termeter or stun him. Um, like, well, what does this do already? Anyway, I'll just get, I guess, assist from Chewbacca. Just do an AoE. Again, healing up. Finally, we go. Mando's got a turn, so hopefully we can now land some healing immunity. Boba goes down. Whistling Birds prevents revives as well, so don't have to worry about Boba anymore. We got Django stunned, now we got Embo stunned, let's see if we can get a stun Bosk as well, perfect, so we got everybody stun locked, it's now just a case of taking them down, as you can see now that we did land healing immunity on these guys, they can't heal anymore, so we are really taking them down very very quickly again. The only annoyance there is Dengar, because uh, he's got tenacity up, so we were not able to land healing immunity on him, uh, Django there. He got the revive and his AoE, but luckily not a whole lot of damage. Because anyway, we've got guard as well uh, over on Tarful. There we go. Perfect. Now we just have to deal with Dengar. Just speed up the footage here because it'll take a while. We got Tenacity down on him. And the guy still resisted healing immunity. So just hit auto play at this point. Because, um, you know, as soon as Dengar gets a turn, there we go. He just died from all this damage over time. And that's it, guys. Looks like Sector 2 mini boss is what we've come to expect from Conquest. You know, as long as you got the right tools, uh, you can get all the feats done without any issues as we had in Sector 1 there versus Gamorians as well as Rancor. Now, let's look at the final boss in Sector 2. Is this still going to be something considered normal or again something crazy? And as you probably know, Jabba here is absolutely crazy. Like, I tried quite a few things. Um, spent two minute refreshes testing it out. While I can beat Jabba, keeping so alive for me at least, you know, with the current data this I have, was not able to achieve. So maybe it's something I'll return back to it later or CG anyway announced. They'll be apparently releasing another fix today or tomorrow or something. Uh, so maybe they will make this a bit easier even. So this one I'll just show you the dark side uh, unit feet and that's it. I'm not gonna tackle so. 
but even this one like without using galactic legend was quite challenging and as you have seen already uh, with the sector one their mini boss when i used uh, consumables and anyway cg announced they want us to engage with consumables and things like that so that's why i think they jacked up the difficulty so much so we are forced to use consumables so let me show you what I have equipped here for this battle that I was able uh, to get this to work. Definitely you will want Frenzy Tag because they are very fast. So at least with uh, Frenzy Tag you can get a jump start to them, get a few turns before they get to do just to hopefully keep them under uh, control. Um, there's one thing you will notice that all the consumables as well as tag duration of the battle is only one so that's a bit of a nerf there CG did not say this uh, before tag would last for two battles and all the consumables would be lasting for four battles uh, now even though the actual effects were buffed uh, as you can see we're getting 90% protection before it was like maybe 30 or something uh, and same thing for potency there it's more potency we get a little bit of extra speed from boosters as well so while the effects or you know increased maybe two three times the duration only one battle and considering these guys cost 15 tokens or 75 crystals you know if you do want to use them more frequently than before it's gonna you know cost us quite a lot of crystals and tokens so i'm really trying to keep this to a minimum but i think like without galactic legend taking jabba down here i think you know you're gonna need to bring in lots of consumables so the Jabba team is the one with Boba, not Embo. Um, not sure is it this easy or not. I think it is because Embo, right? You can't critically hit and things like that. So I prefer a Boba in there. So have to win with Sogar surviving. This one it's something I'll have to revisit after the update. Um, and then also for this one, I'll just be targeting uh, winning with dark side characters only. But at least, you know, you knock out, you defeat the boss and you can continue. Uh, they've got a modifier, ultimate haste. So hey it's not like they are already powerful enough let's make sure the Jabba gets to his ultimate faster and that's obviously the reason why I was quite not able to keep so alive just because he gets to ultimate very quickly and yeah they're all repaired because you know his Jabba is not powerful enough alone already they need to be as well increased in damage so notice the stamina on my guys as you will see this battle it came a little bit close I was just about to finish off Jabba before he unleashed his ultimate uh, bear in mind, like as you can see, my guys are at 50% stamina, so probably if they would be at full stamina, it wouldn't be as close as you will see in this uh, video. In terms of data disk, uh, you know, you will see them on screen. I've got unstable decelerator to remove term meter, I've got amplify agony, volatile accelerator, ability exhaust as well. So once we land 10 debuffs, we'll be landing some ability blocks on those that are not obviously immune to ability blocks. Okay, uh, we got frenzy tech equipped. Um, as well as potency boosters so we should be able to get those debuffs out quickly like um, target locks uh, first things i'll just put their tank tech over magna guard so he gets permanent taunt and as you can see because of frenzy tech we starting to getting lots of turns here there we go perfect unfortunately their croissant unresisted the buff immunity so i can't get around his taunt just yet even with that potency boost of 75 <laughs> percent was not able to do it the good thing about obviously with what is with his special um there that i used it will trigger damage over time effects um so that's how you can also deal damage to these guys uh, whenever you have it available i just decide to go ahead and use it but as you can see uh, because obviously we do have um unstable decelerator we keep pushing turn meter back on whoever we hit but because i'm stuck behind kersantan here i'm unable to get to somebody else except when i use aoe's and all these target logs giving us a lot of bonus turn meter here so we can even though obviously we do not have friends yet we're still taking a lot of turns <sighs> did kersantan dodge there or something he had buff immunity this is all happening so quickly i'm like oh man still stuck behind kersantan <laughs> are you <laughs> are you kidding me again quite bad rng there just you know had a couple of chances already but that Karsanta will not taunt anymore because then I could target Leia I could target Lando which means I would be able to remove turn meter from them there we go finally was able to remove the taunt from Karsanta and was able to take a couple of hits from Leia again bad RNG only 50% stamina so this really is kind of probably worst case scenario and now that I don't have to talk to Kersantan, I can keep going around here, hitting other guys, making sure with Unstable Decelerator we keep pushing the turn meter back. There we go. It's also something worth mentioning, like my Unstable um, Decelerator is blue, so it's removing 8% and whereas my uh, 
Volatile accelerator is gray, which means it's only adding 5% of a turn meter. So if you have opposite it, your volatile accelerator is higher a level than your unstable decelerator, then they'll be gaining bonus turn meter. So something worth mentioning. <laughs> so there you go. What there nuked the entire team with his special triggered all those damage over times. Boba, of course, revived and this put them like. Will I run out of time? Let's just see it auto play and hopefully these guys can burn through. Jabba, Kersantan came back, so we'll have to deal with him also. Uh, B2 gets taken out by Grievous, but then what brings him back? B2 gets taken out by Grievous again. What brings revives him again? And there you go. Just when Jabba was about to hit the ultimate, <laughs> was able to finish him off. Again, this was so close because my guys had only 50% stamina, so obviously their damage was reduced. Just something wanted to highlight. And there you go, defeated here, uh, Jabba for a, what was a two-star victory probably because I lost B1. But to be honest, I have to come back to, the, to this anyway, um, trying to get so fit as well. But I'm just waiting for the new fix that's apparently coming our way tonight. We'll have to wait and see obviously what CG will do there. Okay, guys, hopefully this was useful and helpful. I'm not showing you all the feats, unfortunately, just because it's, you know, this soft feat is just crazy. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Just want to finish here so I can clear sector two, so then I can start working on sector three guides. So also be on the lookout for those shortly. But until then, have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.